Guys, from the soy sauce assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are reviewing a cigar for the holiday season or the well, like a celebrating season. Is the pledge of the that ple, 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 pledge of Allegion 2024 in Salomon? Um, I reviewed this before. We have reviewed the 2023 Pledge of Allegiance. And that's in box press Toro. All right, box press Toros. And now, this down, we have Salomon. As you can see, box is damaged. Uh, but you know, you can't really do anything about that. Box always get damaged. But this one says 10 Salomon. And the box now says 2024 limited edition. This is box number 37 out of 248. And I still keep in a box of this just in case I need to smoke more of it. So inside, nice red background, gold, Pledge of Allegiance 2024. You get this nice sheet printed thing. It says Pledge of Allegiance Limited Edition 240A, Years of Freedom. Is it? Anyways, bottom of the box. Looks just like that. Nice lines of cigars. Now, I know that there is a, a difference. Is that now the bottom says Casa Carrero. As they changed the name recently. Let me see the box before it says. Yeah, the box before says TLA. Okay, so they did change the name to Casa Carrillo. And yeah, first thing first, take a look at the cigar. E.P. Carrillo, Pledge of Allegiance, Solomon is six and three quarter by 64. Obviously, they want to call it Figurado or Solomon, but on the box is Solomon. It's $35 each. Comes in a box of 10. Limited to 248 boxes, and my particular box is box 37. Represent the number of years since the founding of the country, 248 years. It has a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. Ecuadorian grown Connecticut seed binder and fillers are from Dominican, Nicaraguan, and United States. The cigar itself feels a little light in a weird way, but you know, nevertheless, it's a bigger cigar. Let's give it a try. All right, now that I have one in my hand, we're gonna smoke this thing. It's very like sandpaper feel, dry. Definitely broad leaf because it's kind of ugly. Um, this one has a crack. Yep. Well, it's only in the beginning, so I'm not worried too much because it looks like when they roll it, this like this just like a patch. You see that? You see the line? So you roll, 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 and all of a sudden to here, now it's flat. So it feels like this one has been repaired. So I'm definitely gonna smoke this one because, you know, why not smoke the one that they repaired? If, hey, EPC feels like, you know, you can put out a cigar like this, and if it has a problem, then we should let them know. Don't put out a cigar like this, right? If it's fine, then it's fine. No particular smell. 
no particular smell. The cap is tiny. Deep, dark. Chocolate espresso woodsiness. Very deep dark. And a little bit mustiness. Let's go. Dark, charred, musty, leafy, steinies. Coffee. Woodsiness, baking spice. Good amount of smoke output. Burns wonky. <laughs> gotta fix that. For sure, I knew this is gonna be like, like this patch job. It's a patch job. But shouldn't be too much a problem. I just fix it. Yeah, there's a big, big hole in here. It's just patched up, so I know this was gonna have a problem. Not cool, EP. Not cool. It's almost like the person who wrote this one wasn't really good at it. While I touch it up, I can smell really nice, really nice woodsy coffeeness, but they screwed this one up for sure. It's all tunnels, after tunnels, after tunnels. But tastes good though. It's just tunneling. You can see there's three holes here. See that? One, two, and three right here. There's three holes. Not good. See all that? Not good. I'll get a little bit of nuttiness too. And hey. But yeah. Let me fix this up, smoke one third, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's about one third because um, this is actually not the tip. The tip already fell off. As soon as I fix it, boom, the whole entire piece fell off. So it starts to kind of correct itself because like I say, I think whoever wrote this are not very experienced in rolling this Vitola. So the front, it feels like a patch. Just put it on there. Yeah, so. But flavor. This thing is a espresso bomb. 
it tastes like just smoking woodsy espresso. It also have the sweetness. But it's hard to tell you what kind of sweetness it is. Uh, because it's kind of mixing that espresso. It's a nice smooth cigar. Very little amount of pepper. Just very, very amount of pepper. That kind of enhanced that flavor. So think of this as woodsy, espresso, a little bit nutty, and just a just a little bit of pepper that helps it to enhance that flavor. And it's got a little bit of that espresso burn dark roast char somewhere in there as well. And woodsiness. And there is a very minor amount of baking spice. And that's it. I mean, it's overall enjoyable cigar right now enjoyable cigar and i'm drinking an iced coffee to go with it great pairing great pairing uh strength about a medium right now it also has this licorice so i think the sweet came from that licorice that licorice um uh, taste and sweetness that goes with it so far so good so far so good very nice And I'm trying to think, I feel like I want to say something about this. But I don't have any particular extra thing. I might cut this part off because it's kind of like extra. But even though it's a very enjoyable cigar, I wonder why the cost. Like, is it because I had to hire another person to specifically roll this? Or is it because they want to set this price specifically for this because it costs extra to do the box and the shape and the mold for this. That might be it, but $35? A little bit too expensive for this. Right now. Second third. Be right back. Second third. Wow. This cigar. Second thirds give you a little bit more of that charness. It gives you a little bit of more of nuttiness. And you give a little bit more of mocha mocha and i think the mocha kind of starts when they start to taper back down a, a little bit um strength i think is creeping out to medium plus but it's like not that bad it really depends on how fast you're smoking so overall right now i i fully enjoy the cigar i fully enjoy the cigar this cigar is good um problem with that is is as good as the toro if if not just if it's a little bit better it's a little bit better but like i feel like when i smoked the toro i didn't that small amount of extra enjoyment it's not that much it's not 35 dollar much you know it, it, it's good but it's not that crazy much I enjoy it and I'm like keep thinking ah, should I get another box should I get another box should I get another box but that price range is just hard for you to get another box kind of price range I mean it tastes good it tastes great I mean I really enjoy it especially I'm, I'm like reading and I enjoy every puff of it and next thing you know like I'm I'm not the band so it's it's really good cigar it's really enjoy it. like you know the time fly by when you're smoking the cigar Anyways, first man, Pledge of Legion, Ple Pledge of Our Legion, 2024, very standard, very American-like, very patriotic, we got that. And now we have the last little bit, unfortunately, everything has to come to an end, so let's smoke the last stir and get to the summary. But yeah, but let, let's look at this. I think it's the same band, blah, blah, same band as before. There we go. Um, I, 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 I hope they put, you know, I wish they put a little bit more here so it doesn't just, it's not just a white band here, but looks good. 
thought out, very EPC like. Obviously, I always have that like picture on the side and the logo in the middle. They got it. They got that. Now, you would think that if you want to do something like Pledge of Allegiance, you put like egos and like, you know, American lifestyle and stuff, but it's not. It's just a girl. Just a girl. So, yeah, what we got. And we're going to Luster. Finish up, and I'll give you what price I think this thing is. I'm gonna offend a lot of people with this, but be right back. Okay, for the last, uh, I'm gonna knock this shit, but the cigar is good. Last, uh, it's more of a char taste, but still got that espresso, still got a little bit of like baking spice, no pepper left. But still enjoyable. Like, you know, it's, it kind of dies down, eased its way to kind of, um, kind of to a finish. So I, I think it's a good cigar. I think it tastes good, but definitely not $35. $35 is crazy. I feel like they, they do $35 because they have different production costs, a box, and all that stuff. Making 200 something boxes is tough because it's a small amount, right? And, and making that small, batch everything costs more so they try to i think they try to just kind of balance that price but for me 35 dollars still crazy all right uh i think this cigar is, is between 24 25 bucks i'm okay with 24 25 bucks uh on this cigar but not 35 not 35 35 no i will say you should buy it but it's not worth 35 <laughs> okay it's good for collecting. It's good to uh, smoke it during the, uh, you know, July 4th for a celebration of anything that's America. Uh, and, and the cigar tastes good. It's enjoyable. It takes a while to smoke. It's great. But I, I, number one, I think the construction is not 35. Like it feels, it's hard to describe how you feel. You got to hold it. It feels lighter than it should be. And it feels like the, the, they are not really good at doing the tip of that Salomon. It's just, if, it, like, if I look at it, it feels like it's just taped on, right? And and with that being said, it's still a solid malt. It still smoke well. It still smoke tastes good. And it still got the time and transition and all that stuff. It's just not perfect, you know? And for a $35 Solomon, like think about how many Solomons out there. $35 is a high premium for this cigar. So I, I can't get to that price. But... I will still buy it and, and I bought it, you know, because I, 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 you know, I want something like that. I would like to taste something different. When I first got the Toro, I was like, I wish something's bigger. I wish this lasts longer. And they did. Just not executed the perfect way. But even at the perfect thing, I don't think I can reach $35. I think $25 is where it's at, right? Uh, but again. If you like a cigar, sometimes you just have to pay more. And this is one of those things like I don't think it's worth that money, but I still buy it because I wanted it. If that makes sense. Okay. So yeah, that is where it is at. I'm gonna send the cigar to to um Eric. So see how, what he thinks. Because I, I think he also liked the original Toros. I just don't know what he thinks about the, the Salomon. So I, I will see when he released that. I don't think he's going to release that review for July 4th because it's too late. By the time I send it to him, it's kind of late. But for you, if you can still find it, at least find a five pack or something. Like that. Find one to try. I think that you will be amazed by the, the flavor, the, especially if you go with the coffee. That is an enjoyment. I completely enjoy my almost two hour worth of cigar smoking time. Really, really enjoyable. So I recommend it. And that's pretty much it. So with that being said, that should be it for the cigar. And I hope you guys go find one, enjoy one. And uh, if you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out podcast. We start re-recording it already. Uh, and uh, check out membership. We do have those. Get to see those review early and some of the reviews uh, will be way early. Okay, so I'll see you guys next one. Bye.